My name is Anne-Sophie and I'm a nurse uh, working for Doctors Without Borders. Uh, I've been working for Doctors Without Borders since 2003 and have been out eight times in uh, various projects in Africa. And now I'm working at the office here in Copenhagen where I am responsible for a research project we are doing in collaboration with the University of Copenhagen. 90% of all malnourished children live in Sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia, especially India, Bangladesh, Pakistan and the Democratic Republic of Congo is hard hit, but also the Sahel Belt, which is a des desert uh, area from Mauritania to Chad and South Sudan, including Niger. MSF has been working in Niger since 1985 and has done nutritional programming since 2001. We are currently working on what we call a community-based approach, meaning that the main part of the children that we are treating, we are treating as outpatients, uh, that they don't need to be hospitalized while being treated. They can be treated in their homes. And the reason why we can do that is because we do an active screening. We go to the communities, to the villages, and we screen the children for malnutrition using an armband, which gives us an indication of the severity of their malnutrition. Up to 90% of the children that we've been treating in Niger has been treated successfully, meaning that they have been cured. This is one of the children that we have treated successfully. Uh, he was admitted for 19 days and received nutritional therapy and after 19 days he gained almost half of his body weight. So he increased his weight from 4.2 kilos to 7.3 kilos. And this is a child of two years old who when he came in only weighed 4.2 kilos. It's really important to understand that malnutrition is not just a matter of the quantity of food given but also the quality of the food. Young children, they need special nutrient foods in order to develop and function normally. So that's why it's important not just to treat malnutrition, but also to prevent malnutrition by giving a proper diet that um, meets the needs of, of small children so that they can develop and grow properly as they should. This is why MSF Denmark has started a collaboration with the Department of Human Nutrition at University of Copenhagen where we want to develop and try out new products for the treatment and prevention of childhood malnutrition. We are trying out 10 different products, which is developed together with the Department of Human Nutrition, and we are testing it on around 1,600 children to see which of these products are the most efficient and most cost-effective pro product to prevent and treat childhood malnutrition. This is one of the products we use for the treatment of uh, acute malnutrition. It's a peanut paste, like a peanut butter, enriched with vitamin and minerals and essential proteins, which is uh, important for small children to grow uh, properly. One treatment costs around 60 US dollars for six weeks treatment with these kinds of products. By the end of the research project, we hope to have developed uh, improved and cost-effective food supplementation for the treatment of children with moderate acute malnutrition, which will mean that we can increase the access to treatment for children with moderate acute malnutrition, of which there are currently 36 million children suffering from this type of malnutrition. We hope that, that our research project can help to contribute to the evidence base with the aim of improving the international guidelines, which is currently non-existent for, for these, uh, these kinds of children. In 2010, uh, Doctors Without Borders worked in more than 28 countries trying to treat and prevent malnutrition. We treated more than 337,000 children for acute malnutrition. Furthermore, we are working for improving the current international food aid and we are advocating for more funding for combating child malnutrition. Finally, we are also doing research and innovation within treatment and prevention of childhood malnutrition because we want to prevent that children become severely malnourished with lifelong consequences or at worst, they die. Thank you very much for watching.